Hi guys, um, I just want to pop on and give you an update. I think it was my last video I said I was giving up on the Colome, but I have one cycle left. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just gonna do it, um, but I'm gonna change quite a few things, um, just because I feel like I eat very badly and I drink alcohol and a lot of caffeine. And I think if I eat a bit healthier, it might help. Probably not because I've done five rounds and they're all failed. Um, I need to remember to take my folic acid. Um, I am going to start this today. Um, I always forget my folic acid. So I really need to take that. And I tried the aspirin last time. But I'm, I've heard clomiphene geline in. And I don't know if that's what aspirin does as well. So I'm not really too sure. A lot of people have said they've taken aspirin and it's helped with the Clomid. So I am going to try that. But I'll probably try that when my Clomid's finished. And I have a few of these left. So I'm going to try some of them. I've been drinking a lot of green tea. So I'm actually going to put one of these sachets in that green tea. Um... Yeah, so that's, I'm going to change my food, the way I eat today, I've already started eating a bit better. Um, I'm drinking more green tea, less alcohol, less caffeine. Um, I've just ordered some pre-seed actually, so I'm going to try that this cycle. And I'm going to get some new syringes. I'll show you the ones I've got actually. Okay, so this is the syringe I've got. I don't know if you can see, but they are quite thick. And I want the thinner ones, so I'm going to order some new syringes. Um, so I'm going to order some new of them, and I need some more pregnancy tests. I've literally used all my pregnancy tests on the last cycle. And I was I didn't buy any more because I didn't think I was going to do another cycle, and now I'm like, hmm, yeah, I want to. So I have a few ovulation tests. I think this will be enough for this cycle. Um... I'm pretty sure it will be enough. If you see, I can show you ones from last cycle. They're my ovulation tests, so I'll probably, I'll definitely have enough. I'm probably going to do it on a bit of paper like that again. Um, so I'm going to get a new syringe. I'm just looking at my notes. And um, there's someone I've been watching on YouTube actually, and she reckons the best sex position is doggy, and that he waits till you go soft. Um, before he falls out so we're gonna try that as well <laughs> um so yeah there are just a few things that we're gonna try if this does not work we're going to see the doctor at, well our clinic in november so i'm going to talk to him about femera if not then it will be three more rounds of clomid which i don't really want to do i really want to try the femera um, because I've heard a lot of people have got pregnant when they haven't on Clomid, they have on Femera. So I am going to try that. Um, sorry, I'm just like stirring that sachet into my green tea. So that's my pre-mama. So I have quite a few of these left actually. Two, six. 10, 11, as soon as this is my last cycle, I think, well not my last cycle, my last cycle till after I've gone back to the clinic, so I might use all of them, um, for like up until ovulation, so we'll see, I might save like two, um, but I am going to try and drink them with the green tea, and lots of green tea, all the time, um, I'm going to try and cut out tea, as really as much as I can, and coffee, because I drink a lot of that, and I am partial to a bottle of wine, so I am going to stop that as well. Um, I think it's more like getting harder and harder as it goes on, more nose, more nose, more nose. It's given me more pushes to do other things, especially eating better. Um, normally for breakfast, I'd have like eggs, fried eggs, toast, beans, sausages, bacon. Um, so this morning I just had porridge with... Um, blueberries with no sugar and a green tea instead of a, to a toffee a tea or a coffee 
and then for lunch I just literally had egg scrambled egg with no milk and no butter and then I had like a grey snack I find them quite nice actually so I had like a little grey snack um, which is a delivery like a you get four snacks and you get it in a post so I have a code actually a discount code for that so I might link that in the description box or just put a comment on if you want to know what it is and then you get your first box free your third box free and I think you get your tenth box free as well um yeah so I had a little grey snack and then for dinner I'm gonna have a homemade vegetable soup um I really need to cut out bread because I eat so much bread so I am gonna change so much stuff in this cycle and I'm gonna obviously do an update um at the end of the cycle I'll probably do um a few photos on like the days I take the Clomid or just do like a little store like a few videos together or photos together and like video instead of doing a video every day one with like sim and telling you the symptoms I have um probably pregnancy tests stuff like that ovulation tests so I won't really update for probably two weeks now until um that's all really done or probably like even a month i don't know i really don't know um but yeah i will give you an update when all this month is over and obviously if i ever did get pregnant i'll do a video on like all the different things i have done because i'm going to be trying so much more different stuff this cycle and i really do hope it works because um as much as it's easy for everyone to pop on here and just do these videos and just say oh i'm gonna be doing this and that like deep down like it's so upsetting every time is you get your period you're crying like people don't show that um i literally get so upset yesterday i was so upset obviously got my period and then i was like and then it just makes me think oh maybe i should just do this round and try again so i am actually gonna try again i'm probably never gonna be able to get up <laughs> anyway um i thought i'd just quickly update you um and I am going to buy a new syringe, pre-seed and a few other things. So when I do do that, I'll probably add that into my other video. The syringe I intend to use and stuff like that. So that is that. That's my little update. Um, so I'll talk to you all soon. I just want to say as well, this book I absolutely love. I'm not going to show you my pages, but all my hospital um, letters... I stick in on the month as well and this really helps because you can um, you can add your ovulation stick your cycle and you can like keep it all like in just one book I actually made this to put in so I know where I am but I think it's like a couple quid on Amazon so this is the fertility journal by Kim so this is actually a very 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 good book i absolutely love it i've had this from day one and i even put like this like pictures of like the sachet of what i'm using um my hospital letters are in there and my ovulation tests are on there so i literally put everything together that's how i used to do my ovulation tests and then the last cycle i put it all in together like that and I stuck pregnancy test in there that cycle. I feel like it's just a story as well of like my fertility journey and if I ever do have a child then I'll be like this is the trouble you caused me. This is the book. <laughs> um well not trouble but it is trouble to get there in the end. So I will do some more updates so thanks guys. Bye.